Little Jackal also asked. Is the skeg a crutch while learning? My boat tends to have a mind of its own with the skeg retracted. When deployed, it's controllable. Can't tell how much of this is my lack of experience. In your opinion, is learning with the skeg deployed going to hinder me? Yes, absolutely, but it's not going to really hinder you. You really need to learn how to control your kayak without the assistance of your rudder or your skeg. Don't get me wrong, there's situations where the wind is blowing too hard and, and it's, it's extremely useful to have them. But what happens when it gets jammed and you happen to be paddling alone or the one of the cables to your rudder breaks you're going to need to know how to turn your kayak how to paddle against the wind at an angle to the wind downwind without the assistance of either one so it's really good to practice without them let's talk for a second why they're needed and what happens when the wind hits a kayak, they do what's called weathercocking. They will, depending on the type of kayak and how it's designed, some more than others, they will turn into the wind the same way a weather vane does. Um, so a rudder and the skeg are there to try to control how much of that turn is going to happen. So if you're paddling upwind, great, no problem, you don't need to do anything. But if you happen to be paddling a little bit off, see if you can deploy the skeg a little bit at a time until the skeg counteracts the weather cocking from the kayak and the angle of the wind. So not only is the skeg useful in trying to go in a straight line, but the main reason it's there is so that you can cancel out weather cocking in the right amount and then go in a specific angle to the wind without having to use corrective strokes. Very useful. Same thing, and then with the rudder, that's pretty much used for turning in any, at any point. But what happens if you depend on your rudder at all times? If it breaks, you won't know how to control your kayak. Now, your kayak having mind of its own? Absolutely, that's just because you're getting started. Uh, one thing I've seen with uh, new paddlers that happens very often is Whatever dominant side they have will usually hurt them a little bit in going in a straight line. So what I mean is, if you're a righty, a lot of times you'll tend to turn left without realizing you're putting a lot more strength and you're more dexterous on that side than you are on the opposite side. So, a very good exercise is to paddle and keep a straight line without using the skeg. And notice how each stroke is happening and compare what you're doing and how much force you're putting into each side. Another thing that happens sometimes with uh, newer paddlers is they don't realize that sometimes it takes the kayak a moment or two to catch up to what you're doing to correct this motion and all of a sudden by the time it's correcting you've overdone it. Meaning the kayak starts to turn a certain way and then you think oh correct 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 and by the time the kayak has gone back you've corrected so much now it wants to go the other way. So, as you get more experience, you'll learn how to correct the right amount for anything you're doing. Another thing is, it's good to practice alternating between regular strokes and corrective strokes. See how you can incorporate in your regular cadence of strokes. Oh, there's a corrective one, now I keep going. Oh, now it's going the other way. Corrective stroke, now I keep going. Edging is a huge part of turning a kayak, especially for sea kayaks. You have a very long kayak, so you put the boat on edge and all of a sudden the water line is much shorter, the stern is unlocked, much easier to turn the kayak. It is possible to turn your kayak and control it completely with edging and not changing your regular stroke at all. So you're up here doing regular strokes, I want to turn, edge, and there I go, I'm turning. I want to turn the other way, edge the opposite way. Strokes do not change and the kayak is doing S's. That's actually a really good exercise, is find obstacles and go around them and go between them only with edging. So once again, nothing wrong with using a skeg or a rudder uh, to go in a straight line or to counteract the wind, but definitely practice your strokes and spend time without them. Uh, if you have a rudder, spend a couple of weeks without touching the rudder. Uh, get, get used to how your kayak feels uh, without the rudder. Don't get me wrong. Let's say surf skis, those are really hard to turn. You will depend on your rudder. Uh, and, and the really long sea kayaks, sure, use your rudder, but 
See if you can, practice without it too. Because if something does go wrong, you'll want to know how to control the kayak without their aid. And just lastly, I just wanna reinforce, the skeg is not there only to go in a straight line. Sure, that does happen, but also think of it as the wind is coming from over there. How much do I need to deploy so that I can go over here without a single corrective stroke? So as always, I hope that was helpful. Uh, these are not perfect answers. These are just things and tips that I picked up from other fellow paddlers for from other instructors that have worked for me and maybe they can help you. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. I'm always trying to put these videos out. If you have any new topics, please drop me a line or reach out on my Instagram account. That's uh, where I usually ask for new topics. If you'd like to discuss any of these further, drop me a line or comment below. See you next time.